What's up, fam? Professor T is back, and we're doing some more reacting to new music from Undiscovered Musicians. And today, we're going to check out Zephy, Law of Attraction. Short intro, because there wasn't uh, much of a bio here. I think somewhere along the way on one of his uh, platforms he posts on, I, I thought it said he's from the United Kingdom. I think that's what it said. I might be wrong with that. My apologies. Uh, definitely if the artist checks in, let me know that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know a little bit about yourself. But this is a hip-hop track. Um, as always, I pre-screened it. Uh, I didn't screen it that closely, though. So I apologize if there's stuff in there that's F-bombs and whatnot. So, sorry. No dry snitching. So let's go to the music video here. We're going to see how I feel about it. And uh, without any further ado, Zephy's Law of Attraction. It's probably going to be really amazing. I love all the UK hip-hop I've done so far. Hey. 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 Law of Attract. It's not woo-woo. It's a fact. That Law of Attract. Is a very fact. basement Lot of bedroom track. hip hop, very Man simple. Then you get back. It's not about the Man quality of the mix sometimes, it's sometimes it's about the actual song. Then it attracts. They telling the vegans, cut from the slack. But they stabbing them and raping, that's a fact. Fact, spit on the chat. Money I attract, track. Lot of attract. In fact, my words are all facts. I'm manifesting. I'm listening to the rapper, so that I'm going to be fired for a minute. I don't need pig raps. I just spit on the chat. And attract. What heart do you desire? Are you at my level or do I be higher? Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's feel the energy. See who that meant to be. You know what? In my opinion, I think you're actually riding the beat okay right now. Like, this is nice. Like, this is better than some of the dudes from New York that I work with. He's actually R&B and his voice is actually doing something. I like that. A little bit better production quality. We might have some with this dude. I like the beat too. Brain be electrified, they're telling you the alibis I'm telling you the real advice, they're telling you the real advice I know it's confusing, cause the truth is just really lies They're doing all the hypnotize, I'm just living up a hippie life They were walking in nature I like it a little bit better, it's a tip for the artists as well as any of you guys watching I don't talk about this much, but the video and how you put it up on YouTube makes a big difference Like This is okay, like it's a, it's a pretty picture for people swimming in like a Whatever water feature this is in nature, it is a real beautiful surroundings, but like manifesting it doesn't really like exude oh this is a professional finish song. It's just like a random photo. Because I am a king. Bless, yes, trapped in the best, spit with the facts, this is not guess. Awaken my consciousness, that be my quest. Think it my turn like it chest. What? Think it my turn like it chest. Yeah. Think it my turn like it quest. Yeah. 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 Like a chest. Okay. It That's all it is to it. Very uh, it's a short song. That's all you need sometimes. Or just get in and get out. I talked about that in the songwriting masterclass video too. The people make songs shorter and shorter these days. But just get in and get out. So good job, Zephy. And I like this song. That's pretty good. And uh, for what I like about it. Like I said, bro, I think you actually wrote the beat pretty hard, man. Like, I wasn't even playing. Some of the dudes from New York City that I've worked with and some of the, like, guys I've listened to it, my cousin works with that's um, in New York City. This is, like, definitely flowing and writing the beat better than that. Something uh, that I'll say with that real quick. Um, well, I think a lot of times people don't understand. This is not just for singing, but also is absolutely 1,000% true for rapping. More than anything else. A lot of times people don't understand that when you're doing a good vocal performance of the song, your voice is supposed to be a, one of the instruments that's a part of the song. That's how you have to think of it. So like you, just because like you can rap really fast or because you have interesting lyrics, if you're not adjusting the tone of your voice and rhythmically being perfectly locked in with the song and doing things that matches the song... It's not going to be a good vocal performance no matter how much skill that you have technically as a rapper. Same thing for singers, too. There's people out here that are amazing singers. Like, if you were to get a textbook, write it down on a piece of paper, every technique thing they would teach you in college or how to sing, they do it. But they're boring to listen to on the record because they don't have any actual vocal performance skills. They have plenty of singing skills, but no vocal performance skills. So, yeah, when it comes to that one, this guy, I think he nails it. He knocked it out of the park. So I definitely like that. 
I like the beat. The beat, it was kind of different. It's kind of simple. I like listening to these UK hip-hop stuff, you know, if that is where he's from. Like I said, my bad if I read it wrong. I've got UK, but he's not really from the UK. He sounds like he is, though. But uh, I like the beat. I thought it was real cool. It was something different that you don't really hear a lot of these days. It was real cool. He had some cool lyrics in there. There was some cool bars. And, uh, yeah, I, I think this was a great, great track, great work. For critiques, the critique section of the video, this is the only critique I will give. Uh, as you continue to move forward, Zephy, the, the production quality of this is going to have to improve. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Like It's, it's going to have to improve. That comes with time, though, and uh, it comes with when you meet more people that might be able to mix for you. I mix. I'm going to get a Fiverr account real soon. I'm going to talk about that on this channel, too, when I do it. I, I've been looking into it and talking to some people that do it. I'm going to get me a Fiverr account real soon and do some mixes for people. Uh, but to the point of this, the mixing of it is just, it sounds amateurish because of the mix. Because it definitely, it sounds like something that was recorded just half you know what, I almost cussed on camera right there. Half tail, I'll say, where it wasn't really just like in a bedroom and a blue microphone or, you know, so it, it definitely, it, it needs to be mixed a little bit better. That's really my only critique. Other than that, I really like this and I think it could catch on. So with that being said, we're going to go on to the Professor T Billboard chart and we're going to see how I'm going to rank this and see how it made me feel. Oh, my fault. I took it out to the wrong screen. My bad. All right, that worked. <laughs> Alright, Zephy, Law of Attraction. How is this one going to rank? It's getting harder now that there's more. So, whoa, 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 whoa. I guess what I would put this one, maybe like... How much did I enjoy this one? I enjoyed this one enough to put it about 24. So if I put it at 24, that's what I think is a good, fair spot. Where does that put it at? 24 is right beneath Faith Quang, Off-White, which we just did last week to finish up Women's Appreciation Month. Woohoo! And I like that song. That was an acoustic guitar song. Um, and then Corey James Dreamin'. That was a jazzy r&b kind of neo soul song and uh i enjoyed this one a little bit more than that as i always say the billboard chart is not a reflection on the quality of the song this is a reflection on my um preference and my enjoyment of it and how popular i think it would be if i were to suggest it to people at the end of the year i'm gonna say i'm gonna stop and suggest these two times i'm gonna stop probably in june at some point and do a mid-year suggestions and i'm gonna probably stop at uh, the very end of the year, December, and do um, the, the top 10 for the whole year. So, with all that being said, to Zephy, to all you guys watching at home, love what you do. I uh, enjoyed listening to the song, and I hope that all of you did too. And I share nothing but peace and love with all of you, and I'll see you on the next review.